get started in just a second. If you're here, say hello. I know I didn't um, schedule this video because I just wasn't sure if I was going to make it on or not. So we're going to get started. If you're here, say hello. Hi, Debbie. I'm so glad to see you here. Welcome, welcome. Um, yeah, I need one, yes. Hope you're having a, a great new year. Good start to 2024. All right, I've got a mess. That's what I've got for 2024. <laughs> Need to get this place cleaned up. All right, so we're going to be making some earrings today. And I'm going to pop on over. Hi, guys. Oops, not Jess. It's Heather Powers. Today's going to be a mess, I can tell. <laughs> And Julie, welcome you guys. Hi everyone. So, um, I sound a little better today. Definitely feeling better. So that's good. We're going to make some earrings and we're going to be using the, um, Pantone color palette. Have you guys seen this yet? Oh, sorry. I keep pressing Jess's thing. So the Pantone, um, color palette, they put it this out I don't know, months ago, of uh, what the popular colors from the runway fashion shows were or are going to be coming up. And um, I'm not really into trends. You know, I'm, I, I like to be creative and um, go with whatever is inspiring me at the moment. But the color trends are a great jumping off point. I'm going to turn my microphone on so you guys can hear me. Just a little bit better. Give me one second. All right. So who has pulled out their beads for 2024 yet? Thanks. Anyone started making things? I saw our friend Susan's been busy already. How about anyone else? Let me know in the comments. Have you guys started making something yet for 2024? I always like to start out the new year doing things I love. So. And so, hi Katie, Candy, Lorraine, Mary, hi guys, hi Shaquita, nice to have you here, happy new year everyone. Okay, so like I said, Pantone um, colors for spring, here they are in all their glory, and you may look at them and you're like, eh, I don't know. Um, so we're going to talk more about colors later on this month too, I'm going to do a whole presentation on color palettes for spring that I hope you guys will love. But um, you'll notice the four colors in the middle. So we have the peach, the chambray blue, uh, that pastel, lilac, and marlin. And I saw this image when I was looking up color palettes, and it's pretty close. So that's my inspiration, are those four colors in the middle. And then here we see the sunset, which of course, living on the beach, sunsets are really important to me. So that's my color inspiration for today. And we're going to start with um, my little tiny willow birds in peach. Let's get a little closer so we can actually see things up close. And I have a whole little thing over here designed for you guys. So I'm going to use my disc beads in the branch um, color, the birch branch, and we're going to put together a whole little collection of beads underneath. We're going to do these long, crazy, fringy earrings with layers <laughs> to start out the new year. I'm going to show you guys how to make this little birch bark twig, which I've shown before, but this will be a little refresher for you guys that already know how to do that. Julie, you've started, but I haven't finished anything yet. Hey, getting started is half the battle, right? Okay. Oh. We're going to start by using 14 gauge wire. Uh, this is pure copper wire. I get this at the hardware store in the plumbing section. <laughs> it's much cheaper than the um, jewelry version and so you want the 14 gauge um i'm not exactly sure what it's labeled at 
in the uh in the hardware store sorry but it is 14 gauge wire and i'm going to start with uh about an inch and a half and i'm going to cut two exactly the same size And you're going to need some heavy duty cutters for those because this is really thick wire and you want to flatten both ends of the wire out with your flush cutters so that you have nice flush cuts on both sides. And these are going to get longer, so I actually think I don't have my ruler here, so I think I'm gonna make them a little bit shorter. There we go. I think this is closer to an inch and a half <laughs> than that crazy one I just had. And you wanna take a second and just straighten them out if they have any little curves to them. So grab your pliers and just give them a little straightening. It's okay if they're a little tiny bit of a curve or um, What have you? Hi, Debbie and Sandy watching and Karen. Hello, hello, everyone. Kind of snuck in here on you guys. So we're going to be making the birch bark um, little twigs. And we're going to darken these in just a minute. So this is the raw copper. And I'm going to show you how cool they look once they're darkened. So I'm going to pull this up a little. And might want to turn down your <laughs> your volume for a second so we're on the bench block I'm holding my hammer and this is really important guys hold your hammer at the very end and swing with your whole arm so that um, not just your wrist but you're using your whole arm This takes a while. Let's talk amongst yourselves. Anybody get anything cool for Christmas? Any great jewelry item that you had had on your wish list? Maybe from Santa or from yourself. I'm going to turn this over and hammer on the other side now too. And this takes a while. I don't want to get real aggressive and do like a lot of hammering at once because I want to keep it a little on the straight side and if you hammer a lot going one direction you can bend it pretty sharply and making sure to work that center too and I'm gonna flip it over hi Susan <laughs> I know can't believe it's Tuesday. Hi, Linda. The um, three-day weekends always mess me up for sure. So we are making birch twigs out of copper. And you'll see I switch that around. Ooh, Kate, you got a UV light so you can do resin. So much fun. Okay, just hammering away here. Now I'm getting impatient, so I'm going to do a little bit harder. <laughs> and you want to work evenly um, both sides and flipping front and back. And if you see your wires curving, flip it over. And that will straighten you out a little bit. All my little beads are flying everywhere. <laughs> Debbie, you are so sweet. You did buy yourself some really pretty jewelry. Yes, get out all the 
frustrations of being stuck in the home because it's too cold and yucky outside, or <laughs> you have COVID for a week, whatever's bothering you, go ahead and hammer it out. Okay, just hammering away. And I feel like this is flattened out pretty well. It's a little bit thicker than my other ones. I'm not hammering it quite as much as my first ones. And that's okay. All that matters is that you hammer both of the two pieces the same. So I'm going to take one side. And really go to town here. I want the top wider so that I can poke a hole in it. Okay, so there we are, ready to go. And now I'm gonna do the texturing. And uh, we're gonna do just the uh, end of the riveting hammer. And I'm randomly gonna do the texturing. I'm kind of rocking my uh, hammer back and forth. And you only do this on one side. Okay, so I feel like that's pretty good. It does curve up a little, so I'm just going to use my fingers and flatten it out. Karen, my whole family got COVID for Christmas. And uh, I'm probably feeling the best out of everyone. <laughs> everyone else seems to have it worse than me. But uh, I'll tell you, I don't have a lot of energy. I can work for a few hours and then I'm ready for a nap. <laughs> it's been really hard. Uh, but we're getting there. All right. Uh, I'm just doing stuff without even telling you. Flat file. Just making sure there's no burrs on the edge here, guys. Because last thing you want is to get poked on your face from a sharp piece of metal so just filing in one direction like you would do your nails and getting rid of any sharp edges okay now you're going to take your 1.5 millimeter punch and right in the center on the top here punch it down and there you have your hole so I'm going to do that on my other two pieces that I did and you can see these ones turned out a little more curvy because I was really in a hurry <laughs> the more you take your time um, hammer slow go slow and work back and forth front and back the straighter it the little sticks will be but the curves are kind of cool too Okay. <laughs> yes, doing lots of rest. Okay, so I have my two pieces here. And I'm going to be using the Extended Life Liver of Sulfur Gel. And I have a little bottle of water. I mean, cup of water. And I'm going to put a few drops in there. And I'm going to just dip this off camera. You guys don't need to watch me dip it, do you? <laughs> I don't think you do. But I am going to show you what I do when I'm just doing one or two pieces like this. And I don't want to stick my hand or pull out pliers. I'm just going to make a little hook and throw these guys on so that I can dip them into my jar O liquid here. Well, I guess I could just show you. We don't need to make it secret. <laughs> so here's my liver of sulfur. I'm going to throw those guys in. Um, 
I'm using a paintbrush to move the metal and liquid around a little. I'm going to do it a little bit more. Okay, I think that's good. And now I have clear water here. And this doesn't have to be hot water, but it does go quicker if it's hot water, but not necessary. Oh, I just have clean water. Just neutralizing it with fresh water. You don't have to do baking soda or anything. You can if you want, but it's not necessary. Okay. Now I have my pieces here that have been antiqued properly so. Sorry, looking for a smidge of something I don't have. Okay, I'm just going to use my buffing block. Uh, you can use, um, instead of the buffing block, I would usually use uh, steel wool first, but I don't know where that's got off to. So I'm just going to use my buffing block, and this is a vintage buffing block. See all that great texture pops out now. Is that cool? It looks like a little birch bark. <laughs> all right. Yes, I'm easily amused. You guys know that about me. <laughs> and I've done some previous videos with uh, these little guys too. They look really cute as on pendants, also layered in the same way. And so today we're going to do earrings with them, though. They also look cool just by themselves with one little bead on the top. So very versatile little components. Okay. I'm going to move this liver of sulfur far away from me. I just have a feeling today I'd spill it. <laughs> All right, now I'm ready to put together my earrings. We're gonna start with the stuff that's gonna go on the bottom and then I'll build the top. The first thing I'm gonna do is I have these great little bugle beads. Let me show you guys these close up. They're twisted and they look like little pieces of bark. And I bought these a million years ago at a bead store that's no longer around, as the case as often is. And so if you guys are looking online, these are called twisted bugles. That's what you're looking for. But I have a few kits that I'm putting together today. So if you um, jump over to the website about 10 minutes after the video, I'll have them on there. And I, I just have a few, so they're going to go quickly. But if you want a kit, I will have them in the kit. Okay. Just want to get a little closer here. So you guys can see what's going on. All right. That looks pretty good. <laughs> so I've thrown them on a head pin, five of them. Nothing fancy. And I'm just going to do a simple loop on the top with my one step looper. All right. And the reason that peach and blue work so well together is they're opposites on the color wheel. And then if you pick a color that's next to each other on the color wheel, those are called analogous. So the purple is right next to the blue, and that's why the purple hue looks so pretty with this combination. You could also use a, a yellowish orange, and that would be a, a pretty effect too. Okay, one step looper. Just giving it a little squeeze. 
You, of course, can do this with your regular pliers and make a simple loop to like I'm going to have to with that one because it flew away from me. <laughs> uh, Cheryl, this is the uh, peach bird. I've had it for a while. It um, comes in and out of the shop as I have them made. So I think I have a few listed on the website right now. And if not, I'll add them because I have a few here in the studio. got to fix this. I'm going to try again with the one-step looper because I really did want these to be pretty similar. There we go. I'm just not going to squeeze all the way because I don't want to break my bead because they're pretty fragile with um with pressure, you know, like if you squeeze them with the pliers, they would break. Okay, there we go. Now we got a loop. I'm gonna tighten this one up too. Okay, so we got two sticks, and now let's do some stones. <laughs> Hi, Em. Nice to have you here. <laughs> Sorry, Cheryl, I'm so much trouble that way, aren't I? Okay, now I wanted to add in some of that navy blue color, and I'm going to do that with this denim colored. Sorry, lost my train of thought. Oh. <laughs> Waxed linen. And so this is two ply wa wax linen that I'm going to use, and I'm just cutting like eight inches. I don't need that much, but giving myself a little extra. I'm going to use oval jump rings to do my little knots. On here I'm going to do a lark's head knot first. So I'm going to stick my loop through and pull my two strands through. And that gives me the lark's head knot. And now I'm going to do three of these thistle colored three by five rondelles and then I have two peach ones and I'm going to do a knot in between each one so that, that blue is really noticeable. So I wrap it around my finger and then tighten the knot by pushing it down all the way. You want it to be right next to that bead and repeat that two more times with the purple and then two times with the peach so that we have that. Hi, Colleen. Nice to have you here. Yes. I mean, I do feel better, guys. Don't get me wrong. Like, the first few days were rough. And we haven't gotten COVID before. This is our first time. And, uh, well, my son had it last year. Poor guy. And uh, we didn't get it last year when he got it. And then this year, we all got it within a day of each other. And uh, uh, I just wish I had um, a cook and a maid that lived with me. <laughs> that would make life so much easier. <laughs> <laughs> and Alice to my little bunch here. Usually my adult children who live with us do all that cooking, cleaning as they should. But uh, everyone's down for the count. Okay. Oh, I love this. I don't know what it is about. Well, I know exactly what it is about these colors. It's the sunset. And the sunset in the wintertime on the beach here in Michigan is just beautiful. And uh, I'm, I'll always be drawn to those kind of colors. And I like mixing in the metals and the silver tones with this to give it more of that wintry vibe. And I'm going to cut, oh, let's do 
about a half inch here at the end. So I want a little on a little tail hanging off here some little fringe and I'm actually going to unroll the threads so that they'll be even more fringy a little more textury there we go so you just roll it back onto itself to um, unroll it does that make sense <laughs> So there's that little guy that we have our two little pieces. I'm going to do the top part now and I'm going to use 18 gauge wire for the top. Ooh, and I need, um, I need a bead. I'm going to go with this, uh, kind of a metallic bluish green color. O bead in between my two beads here. And I'm going to do simple loops on these guys. I'm just going to keep it nice and easy. Slip on my beads now. I'm going to straighten this up a little. Okay, so the birch branch, and I have more of these. I'm going to add these to the website today. They're just by themselves, little pairs of the birch branch. Then the O bead, and then my little peach bird. Just like that. And now on the top, we're going to do another little simple loop. I'm not going to be able to get down as far as I want. Well, maybe I'll do okay. Yeah, there we go. Okay, now let's grab a jump ring for the bottom. I think I'm going to grab something with a little bit of texture. Don't want too big of a ring though. Here we go. I keep misplacing my pliers on both sides of my table. <laughs> Hi, Dina. Happy belated birthday in person. Well, on the air, live. <laughs> okay. Now we're going to throw all of these on. Ooh, and you know what? I'm going to use the little tiny jump rings to add these. Just want them to lay right. Let's see. Uh, yeah. So I've got a little jump ring here for the twig. All right. Doing this under the camera. <laughs> Not easy. Okay, so I've got my twig in the center, and then I'm just going to throw that guy on, because I want him to, do I want him to splay out a little? I think I'm going to put him on a ring, too. I want him to lay a little more natural. The birch disc beads are fun, aren't they? I first made those inspired by, um, there's a great Gustav Klimt painting, if you guys haven't seen it, called The Birch Trees. He's done several variations of it, but any of them are cool. But if you haven't had a chance to see Gustav Klimt's um, birch tree painting, go Google, go, go Google it after <laughs> the video. 
and uh, get a feast for the eyes because it's quite spectacular. Okay, yeah, that looks and works better. And then, uh, let's see, how do I want that to go? You know what? Okay. I think what I'm going to do, since I am doing this live and designing as we go, I'm going to get a slightly larger jump ring. It's a nice little textured jump ring. And I'm going to put the birch branch and the little leaf on the same jump ring. I think that'll work just a little bit better. For how I want this to lay. So I have the rope jump ring here. I'm going to open that up just a little bit. <laughs> Yay! Wendy, I'm so glad you made it here. Okay, slipping this on. And then I'm going to put the birch bark little twig right behind it. Let me grab my other pliers are less thick, a little easier to work with. Okay, I will get this. <laughs> there we go. And I'm going to close this up. And we're ready to assemble these earrings. One more time. <laughs> okay. I really am far away from my peepers. <laughs> I like to have things right in my eyes when I'm working. Okay. Yeah, see how nice that's going to lay? And the oval jump ring helps um, the little beaded piece lay under there nicely. I like that. Okay, except now I think I do want this splayed out. So I am going to take this other jump ring off. You know, that's the thing about gravity. You don't know how it's going to affect your design until you give it a try. Okay. Now we've got it. Yeah, I, I like that. I like that better. There we go. Now we're talking. Okay, I'm going to slip this on here. Close it up. And I want just a little bit of texture between the ear wire and the top of my design. So I'm going to repeat that ear um, jump ring. And then where did I put my ear wires? <laughs> Here they are. Uh, BK, yes, I will go through, um, I made a big batch of them yesterday, so I will go through and update them on the website today. I have them in quite a few different colors, too, guys. We have them in uh, a mint, a blue... Trying to think of what else. Gold, cream, red, a really dark greenish teal blue. And they work great for necklaces or earrings or bracelets. I've used them for everything. <laughs> They're a great little design. Okay. Throwing this on. Yeah, I haven't had a chance to look at the website yet this morning. So we'll go through and update those. Okay. Here we go. 
winter sunset earrings. Oh, guys, I really love this. <laughs> yes, it needed a little song. So there's our finished earring design. First pair of earrings of the year for me. Woo -woo. <laughs> Number one. All right. So we got some fun things coming up, you guys. We have the uh, Great Beat Extravaganza is next weekend. And Anne, the kits had already sold out, but um, I'm going to go through before the end of the week and make up uh, one more kit. So there'll be one more kit for the Great Beat Extravaganza. The other one's sold out already, and um, I'm not sure. I'm not sure if we're up for pre-orders with the way we're feeling right now for any more <laughs> of the kits we're trying to uh, get things made right now so um i'm not sure if i'll have any kits before the tgbe but i will have some put together during tgbe so that's all i can say is that we're trying to have some kits that way i know january is uh gonna be so much fun with the great beat extravaganza just right at the beginning <laughs> And if you guys don't know what the Great Beat Extravaganza is, and you're like, Heather, what are you rambling about? So next weekend, all weekend, Thursday, starting Friday night, we'll have a little preview party of what everyone's going to be making for the weekend and any kind of specials or deals that they have. And then on um, Saturday morning, we start and we have presentations throughout the whole day. Sun Saturday evening, we're going to have a special presentation all about the um, current trends in jewelry, and Neil Neil A. Patel is going to be um, leading that, and so that's going to be really interesting, and I'm going to, I can't wait to share with you guys during that, and then on Sunday, we'll have the rest of our lineup, including myself at one o'clock Eastern Standard Time, and I will be demonstrating... Um, this is my project here. Let me pull it out for you. We're going to be doing a bird necklace with knotting and knotting on uh, wax linen and then leather. And so I will have some more kits of this in a different color on later this week. Or, and I'll have some more for the show too. So hopefully later this week, crossing my fingers. Um, hoping I feel better and up to it and already like it's Tuesday so the week's halfway over right <laughs> thank you guys so much for joining me I'll post a picture of this please uh if you haven't yet guys join the VIP Humble Beads VIP group I would love to hear from you guys in there that's where we share what we're making where I share inside inspirations and just um it's a great way to connect with each other and I'm really want to focus on inspiring you guys more and connecting with you more in the coming year. So be sure to join that Humble Beats VIP group here on Facebook. Uh, I'll be adding members throughout the week if you join. I've added a bunch of new members last week. And so, so glad to have you guys there. And that's it. You guys take care. Oh, also, let me share with this real quick. I started doing something new for 2024. And that is for stone birds. And so every month through 2024, we're going to have birth stone birds. Oh, you know, I have some right next to me. I don't know why I felt like I had to pull the picture up. Oh, because I'm not sure. Oh, here they are. <laughs> Where are they wrangled off to? There we go. So the birthstone birds. And these little guys, every month I'm going to have a new bird for the birthstone. And so this month is garnet. And you can see they have the pattern on the front and back. And these are my little bramble birds. And these are going to be limited edition. I'm only making them for the month of January. Uh, I'll make a a few batches throughout the month so that anyone who wants one hopefully will be able to grab them but um 
you know, I can't make like 50 of them. Oh, I could, but I don't think I will. <laughs> and so we'll try to keep them in stock as much as we can. But if you want them, grab them at the beginning of the month and then um, we'll see how they go towards the end of the month. But I don't want to have a bunch left over at the end of the month. And so I pulled together a bunch of beads that I thought looked really nice with them too. And these are all on the website new. And so if you guys get a chance, check out the website, check out the new January Bramble Birds. This is in the garnet color. You guys could collect all 12 of them. They'll make great little gifts. So you could give somebody um, a bird that's their birthstone color. Just thought that had a really nice, um, <laughs> sorry. Sharon, that's too funny. Sharon's going to have a pretend birthday in January. Yes, you guys are going to age 12 years this year. <laughs> I know, do you know those little birds, they uh, they fly out. And um, yeah, unfortunately, there's just only so many hours in a day, you guys. All right, that's it for today, you guys. I need to get back to work. Uh, thank you so much for joining me. I really appreciate having you guys here. I'm really looking forward to a fun new year with you. I will take a picture of these earrings and I will have them, the kits on the website in a few minutes. All right, guys, you take care. I say a few minutes. I mean, within the next 10, 15 minutes. Okay. <laughs> <laughs>